Hi. Um, so I said I would um, show you my crafting space and um, and some of my organization stuff. Um, and so I was standing out back and I thought, why not do it now? Greg's at work. And um, yeah, I just finished smoking a cigarette. So, um, but I am down to about eight cigarettes a day. Um, so, and I used to smoke a pack a day. So I'm on the Chantix and, um, and I'm doing good. Now I just gotta get Greg on board. But, um, so I'm gonna take you in our little apartment and I will start showing you some of my um, crafty planning space. We live in a one bedroom apartment and, um, and it's small, but it works for us. It's cozy, it's, um, it's not perfect. None of my storage is perfect. Everything um, we get, we try to repurpose it or we get it rock bottom prices or even um, a lot of the things that we have found in our apartment complex that people have thrown out and we have fixed them and set them up. So I'm gonna take you in our apartment now. This is our cozy little kitchen. Our washer's in the kitchen. Of course, we have dishes in the sink and dishes on the drying mat because our home is not perfect. It's lived in. And, um, but it, it works. So we will start right here. Um, those two things are my crafting bags. Um, on Tuesdays, I go to a craft meetup and we craft and plan and so I keep some of my stuff in the suitcase and I don't empty my bag out because I just have to repack it every week. This is a box of handmade cards that I have gotten in swaps and Greg is going to put them in order for me so that I don't have to search through all of them whenever I send a card out. Um, let me uncover this because yes, you will find storage everywhere for us because we do live in a one bedroom apartment. This ottoman is also a filing cabinet. And if you open it, it has all of my 12 by 12 paper. And then there's a little section up here that I put paper that I either need to file or it's scrap paper. So um, everything is functional for us. And then this is our tiny little we call it like, we call it our laundry room because our dryer's in here. And um, we have a, a planner card as I call them. Um, and it holds our pots and pans. And then all the way up around the ceiling is storage. So um, we use every piece of our apartment. Um, and then I will start with, um, this is Greg's couch. He has his couch and I have mine, so he has the love seat. The leather couches are very nice and someone gave them to us in our family. So we were so grateful for that. Down here in this little bookshelf, of course, those are all Greg's blue pins. And um, these two boxes here have ephemera in them. Both of them are full. Um, and I just pull out what I need to use for each season. There's a lot of planners, old planners, journals down there. These two boxes down here have journal cards in them. Over here, I have um, letters and bling in one, and at the bottom, there are flowers. And then, I don't even know what's in that one over there. And then, of course, I have my cart. And I keep the things that I use the most on my cart because I can roll it over to my craft area. I have um, all my pens, stamps and inks are at the bottom, all the napkins, Mod Podge, packing tape, you name it, it's all right here. My distress crayons are here. Um, you'll see a lot of things. Greg and I worked with palettes and stuff and we made a lot of our um, decor. This piece right here I call my craft cabinet because it is. Um, it was given to us, but it is as you can see up here, I have all kinds of storage also. Um, these little drawers have um, just little, you know, paper clips, glue sticks, all kinds of little things. Of course, there's my little girly cup. And then this, I bought a 
glue gun because I saw someone use it on YouTube and I was like, oh wow, they're fantastic with that glue gun. I can do that. Uh-uh. No, I can't do that. I won't do that. I won't use that thing again. It, it burns me up. It, it's so hot. I, I can't stand it. Here, I will show you, is my little box that I got from my best friend, Jenny McCabe, and it has my special washi in it. All of my Simply Gilded, Wonton in a Million. Um, it's just my little special one until I get, um, I'm gonna get the little clear cabinets, little clear drawers like I have over here. Um, this has all my washi in it. Um, these were $2.99 at the 99 cent store, so you can't beat that. They each have two drawers and they fit your washi, and I'm going to get one to go for my Simply Gilded. So back to the craft cabinet. I'll open it up and show you inside. Of course, I had my medication in there. I have some storage bins over here. Over here, I have some mismatched ribbon. That box is all Christmas um, ephemera and just Christmas crafty stuff. These all have um, journals, um, old planner inserts, and new planner inserts. And here I have my special notepads, um, planner society inserts. And here is crafting stickers, just miscellaneous. A lot of my other ones I keep in a a bag, a clear Ziploc baggie, according to season or when they might be used. Um, this has some painting stuff in it, my buttons, embellishments. It's getting a little full. And then this one has some sewing things in it, more buttons, glitter, because I didn't have enough room for my glitter and where I keep it. So that is my crafting cabinet and that's an antique piece and someone gave it to us so I am so blessed for that then over here of course we have <laughs> we have a file cabinet to keep our important papers and things in and all of our keep our extension cords extra iPhone cords in there because I'm using the pretty one the ottoman for my paper storage this basket, these papers, and these um, embellishments are all things that I'm using currently. I will pull out like all spring and summer and keep them in that basket so I don't have to go and pull out things all the time. So that's what I do there. Um, this red um, little cabinet has four drawers. I keep note cards to send out in that one. This one has ribbon. This one has cards in it that I use to make my own cards. This one has paints and um, glue glitter, all that kind of glitter glue, I guess I should say. And then we use every bit of space in here. This is, let me see if I can back up. This is our kind of small entertainment center. Greg's huge TV, of course, which was given to us. I made those speaker stands for him out of some old bar stools. So I made those for him. And then up here, I have my, um, I made this box for my memory decks cards. Um, this basket I got for 99 cents at Hobby Lobby and it holds my um, notepads and address labels. This is my outgoing mail. Behind it is my um, laminator. And then let's see. I'm gonna show you my crafting closet before I show you my pride and joy, the table. Um, this is not, we do not have a whole light. So we like turn on the bedroom light. And because our hallway is so tight, you know, so small. Um, this is my crafting closet. I took it over as soon as we came in. I have this hanging sorter on the door and I know where everything is in each slot. Like this is tags, this is metal or plastic embellishments, envelopes, file folders, wooden pieces, some masking tape that looks like washi tape. There's a lot of planners and journals up there. These are all things that I'm selling. 
Um, these are all my packing supplies. These are things I'm selling. Up in the top is some storage. Down in the bottom, I keep my makeup. I also keep right here in this drawer, these, this is like a birthday themed bag. This is the Easter themed bag, St. Patrick's Day. So I keep all the embellishments, papers, journal cards in each clear bag. So I know where it is. I have a ton of packing stuff down there. Greg folded that bubble wrap up for me. Can't you tell he did a great job there? So, um, so this is the crafting closet. We have a little bathroom, which is perfect for us. Just the two of us, unless McGregor decides to do number two and it sinks. Um, I'll show you our little, well, it's, our bedroom's not real little. This is our cute little bedroom. Big closet. Um, this was a drawer that we found and I turned it up and put a shelf in it. And so it just keeps some medicine, toothpaste, soap, and some towels on it. These are all of my clips, which I'm getting ready to de-stash. There's too many. We have another closet in here, but it's for clothes and some extra storage. I don't get both closets. Now, this is what I've saved for last. This is my crafting table. It was a table, it was a dining room table or a kitchen table that someone put out for the garbage to pick up. And um, one of the legs was loose, like it was missing a screw. So we went and got all new screws at the Home Depot, tightened them all up, put the legs back on it, and then we cut the legs down so that when I sit on my couch, it's the perfect height to letter or craft or plan. And then you will see storage underneath. I will tell you about that in a minute. But that big couch is mine only because that's the best place for that couch and the, um, the table. You will see I have my video equipment up there. Um, these are, this is a book stand. Sometimes I put my planner on it. It is, um, it also just holds, you know, mail, swaps, that kind of thing. Um, this cute little turquoise one I got at Staples for on clearance for $4.99. It was Martha Stewart and it just holds notepads. It, it This, the storage up on my table and underneath my table is stuff I use all the time. All the time so you don't have to get up because I fractured my pelvis in 2016 and have never been the same. Sometimes I can sit, sometimes I can stand, sometimes I can lay. I can't do any of it for very long at all. But this is where all the magic happens. I sit here on my, on my couch and my crafting mat, my lights, my glue. You'll see a stack of planner stuff right here because I'm gonna do my first plan with me for beginning in July. Um, I thought this was pretty cute. I mean, you can't really see it. And I put my um, sticker rolls in that and they just come right out. This has journal cards I'm currently using. Um, I have a washi thing over here, a special washi that I'm using at the time. Plus it's all decorated up with Simply Gilded. Of course I got that on clearance. I got this little tray on clearance at Hobby Lobby. Everything is clearanced or refurbished. Um, then I have a bunch of these, um, Hobby holsters, white out, um, double-sided tape, my nail file, some um, highlighters, glue, my bone folder. This one all has scissors in it. This is pins that I'm currently using. Of course, he, Greg got me a garbage can for under here. This is all my Happy Planner sticker books. This is all my sticker kits and other sticker books. Over here, I have um, some sticker storage, my address book, some washi samples, um, some journals I'm currently working on. And then this one over here just has miscellaneous, you know, some like my makeup wipes. Um, I always keep wet wipes to clean up spills or whatever for crafting. This is my new day planner, um, daily planner, and I love it. Um, but this down underneath here is a little unfinished like shelf 
it's not supposed to be. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be co covered, but like this is all washi that I'm currently using and of course all of our cords. But um, this this is my planning space. This is this is it and it's you know some people will say it's cluttered i try to keep my table cleared off because greg doesn't like the clutter so um i work really hard at it and i've worked really hard since we moved when we came over here to get everything organized and so that i can access it because i because i did fracture my pelvis and um have become disabled and i just can't um i can't get up and down like i used to which is unfortunate at the age of 46. So, um, this is our little humble abode in my crafty space and our, um, one bedroom apartment. So, um, I hope you like it. I can't tell if you can even see me and, um, I'll get this uploaded right away so that everybody can see my crafty space. Have a wonderful Sunday. Bye.